Hi, here's a question that is that involves trigonometry and the segmentation. So the summation of um, so the best way to do this is to expand this series right here. Um, and also when we do in math, it's like when we do in anything else, we need tools. So the tools that you need for this question is it's good to know the sine wave or the unit circle. Also, you have to know your special angle triangles. Uh, and maybe know how to convert from degrees to radians, which is multiplied by pi over 180. And of course, if you want to go from radians to degrees, you multiply by the reciprocal of that. So you multiply by 180 over pi. Um, so if I want to start this off, what I need to do is just expand it. So from four all the way to eight, so I'm going to seven, that four for the end, and then five, six, seven, all the way to eight. So basically, this will end up have giving you sine four pi over six plus sine five pi over six plus sine six pi over six plus sine seven pi over six and last sine eight pi over six. Now let's start simplifying. This will be sine two pi over three plus sine five pi over six plus that's just gonna be sine pi the six would cancel and plus sine seven pi over six plus this will reduce into sine four pi over three now, some students, they don't like radians. They don't, they don't like to use this 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6. By all means, just go convert them to degrees, and it's easier for you to see. And just multiply by 180 over pi to convert to degrees. So if we're going to do that, and you don't want to work with radians, then this becomes sine 2 pi over 3 is going to be 120 degrees. This would be sine 150 degrees plus sine pi or 180. This would be just sine 180 plus sine 210. That's what 7 pi over 6. And then plus sine 4 pi over 3, just give you 2 pi over 40, uh, sorry, 240 degrees. Okay, and if you want to see it, I got just 4 pi over 3 times 180 over pi, the pi's would cancel, 3 goes into itself once, it goes into 180, 60 times, 4 times 60 is 240, just an example on how to convert from degrees to radians. Um, now, you should know your unit circle, and that's all students take calculus. Now, 120 happens to be right here. And the reference angle for 120, like if you draw 120 right here, the reference angle would be 60 degrees. The sign here is positive, because only the sign is positive here. So sine 120 should be positive. But what you'd be, what you'd be doing, you'd be looking at the reference angle, which is the 60 degrees. You don't have to draw the triangle here as long as you know sine 120 is positive. Then you look at the reference angle, which is 60 here. You just go right there, and the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So this will give you just root 3 over 2 plus sine 150. So if this, is 150, if this was 150 instead of 120, then the reference angle here would be 30 degrees. Also, the sine is positive here. You go to the 30 degrees, sine of 30 is 1 half. So this becomes plus one half, plus sine 180 or sine pi. Sine pi is right there where the 180 is, and it's zero. So that's just going to be zero, plus sine 210. 210 is right here. And then the reference angle is 210 minus 180, which gives you 30 degrees. And 
the sign here because that only the tan is positive, so sign is negative. And sine 30 is one half, except it's going to be negative one half. Plus sine 210, sorry, not sine 210, sine 240. 240 is in here as well, between the 180 and 270. So if that's 240, then the reference, if this is 240, then the reference angle would be 60 because 240 minus 180 will be 60. The sign here is negative and sine 60 will be root three over two, except it's negative. So plus minus root three over two. Now let's add all of this up. This will cancel this. The half and the negative half will cancel. So the final answer is zero for this. So all of this will end up, all of that work that we've done ended up giving us zero. As always, thank you for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.